Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is going to be the first programming project that we'll be doing in the Python Fundamental series. So let's get started. As you can see, the program that we will be writing today is going to be a simulation of a very basic online purchasing system. And here are our goals with this program. Firstly, we want to welcome the user and ask them for their name as well as their purchasing detail, including what item they want, any color or size requirement, and the quantity of the item they wish to purchase. And then we want to calculate the total price of the purchase and print out an electronic receipt. In the program itself, we will be using the print function to display information onto the screen and the input function to inquire information from the user. We will be using conversion between different data types as well as string concatenation to combine strings. And then lastly, we will be using the basic arithmetic operators to perform calculations. In the next section of this video, I'm going to be going over my implementation of the program. But before you start, I would really encourage you to pause the video for a few moments and write your own version of this program. Okay, assuming that you have already attempted to write your own version of this online shopping program, I'm going to be showing you how I wrote mine. Right now, I'm in a code editor called Sublime Text 3. You can use any editor you want, including IDLE. And you just need to make a new file I called mine online shopping.py. And this is where we will be writing our program. Before we start writing code, I'm going to be first writing some comments to organize the file a little bit. And the first thing that we want to, the program to do is to welcome the user, which in this case is going to be our imaginary customers. And then we want to gather some input from the user before we process the data we collected. And then we want to output some receipt, a receipt of some sort. So in the welcome customer, we can just use the print function by saying welcome to, and I'm going to call my shop Python Furniture Shop. And for the user inputs, we can gather information such as their name, the item they want to buy, the color, and the price. Now, normally we wouldn't want to ask the customer for the price, but since we haven't talked about more advanced data types, that's what we will have to do here. So price and then quantity, how many they want to buy. For the name, we can just use the input function with a prompt of please enter your name Oops. here, or we can just leave it like this. And then the same thing with the item, we just want to say, please enter what you want to buy. And for the color, we can just pass in the prompt of color. For the price, we can just use the input function and pass in price. Sorry about my typing. And we can also throw in a dollar sign right there. And then quantity, we can use the input function and type quantity as the prompt. And yeah, so with the processing data in this program, the only thing we really need to do is to calculate a total price of the purchase, which is going to be the price of each individual item multiplied, the, multiplied by the number of items the customer want to buy. And pause for a moment and think about if we have the total total price being price multiplied by quantity, price being the value returned from this input function and quantity being returned from this input function, is this line of code going to give us any errors? And the answer is yes, because the input function, no matter what the user types, is going to give us a string as its value returned. So we now have a string multiplied by another string, which is going to give us an error. So to fix that, we can use the float function to convert this string and make it a float because we want the price not only to be whole numbers, but also floating point numbers. And assuming we want our customers to buy a whole number of things, we can use the int function in the quantity. And then for the output receipt, we can Let's first make a border for our receipt of some sort, or we can make a new line here to separate 
the gathering inputs section with our receipt. Here we can print out a border. We can use the equal sign and print that out on the same line for 30 times and print two lines of that. And then we can print out where we can do your receipt. And just for fun, we can throw in a new line character in here. And then here is the real part of our receipt. We can write name, concatenate it to name, and we can also make it title cased. So the first letter of each word is going to be capitalized. And print purchased item is going to be color. Let's just make it capitalized and plus a space plus item dot lowercase. You can change anything here if you want. And then we can use the print function to print out price. Concatenate it to, because if you remember, we have changed price now to being a floating point number. So it's now a numerical data type. And if we want to concatenate it to a string, we'll have to use the str function to do so. So we don't get an error when we run the program. And the same story with the quantity that the user want to purchase. We also need to use the quantity. We also need to use the str function. And the exact same thing with total price. Or we can throw in a dollar sign right here. And it looks pretty good to me. We can also use the same bordering technique at the bottom of the program receipt. And this should give us a nicely printed receipt and a nice program in general. If you're in IDLE, you can just go up here. There should be a button that says run, and then you want to click on that and then run module. And that should run the program. And now, because I'm in Sublime Text, I'm going to open command prompt and run the program this way. So we can see, welcome to Python Furniture Shop printouts right here. I'm going to enter my name as future programmer. I want to buy, let's just say sofas today. And I want to buy blue sofas. I think the price for each sofa is going to be $10.25. I want to buy three of them. And we can see our receipt printed out name, future programmer, note that this is now capitalized, although I didn't enter it to be, purchased item, blue sofas. This is nicely capitalized, just as we wanted it to be. And the price is going to be 10.25 multiplied by three is indeed 30.75. And everything seems to work just as we expected them to be. And that will be it for this online shopping program. I would really encourage you to use your vast knowledge of Python programming to improve upon the program that you just saw. With that said, thank you for watching this video and happy coding.